I'm going to talk about how to improve the deaf experience. Uh, I'm already introduced, it, so I will not uh, read again. But originally, this uh, well, the title is how to uh, turn out uh, as a 10x without dying in the intent or a 10x developer. But the agenda is motivation. Why am I interested in the generator? And then we are going to see in a general overview of hygiene, specifically hygiene. It is one of this kind. And we are going to do a demo. And at the end, some conclusion with some develop, very happy developer testimonies. Okay, let's start with motivation. What was my motivation in this uh, topic is so, so as many, I love to have a free time. So I don't like to work a lot, right? But seriously, uh, well, there was a challenge or a project a couple of years ago. It was a tool created like four years ago to handle more than 20 sites. And and they needed to be more solid. So this is started as a prototype to create it in just two weeks and four years of adjustments and uh, decisions and uh, technical doubt. Uh, well, this code was not a standard because there were a lot of variants between the 20 sites. And uh, we had uh, more than 60 uh, forms to rewrite. So uh, the challenge it was we were only six developers and two of them were just finished uh, school. And of course, very little time. So as you can imagine, there was a huge uh, challenge. And when I say these forms, well, I'm talking, let's see it. This is a screenshot of all the folders. Uh, another thing that we needed to take into account is that the, some of these forms had some test, 80% JavaScript versus 20% TS. The file and folder structure was a mess, as you can imagine, and they were very different. And there were a lot of bugs. Uh, there was a very bad practices. So we had uh, secondary effects and in functions, change of values, and generally the lack of experience with the framework. And to answer and to finish, well, we were in the middle of the pandemic. Uh, every one of us were in our houses. So we were working at home. So my question is, what would you do? Well, maybe something like that to parallel the work, to assign developers, more senior developers with more complex uh, tasks. But uh, the problem with this scenario is that we have a high risk to not deliver on time or there's no warranty that uh, we follow good practices or the best practices to the code due to the time. So we will have a lot of bugs and do also like to this, we need to train new people. So we need to programming and I will explain it more. We also thought in automatizing uh, basically to have the developers or programmers, and a lot of this work was very repetitive. So that's why we wanted to do it in an automated way. And, uh, and also with this, less things to train the new people. I love to show you this uh, comic from XQCD, because this is the theory how the automation should work. You have the work, the writing code, then the work increase or the task increases. Then there's a point where the automation takes over the original work and then reduct. And then you have the free time. This is a theory, but the, the reality is like this. You have the work, the writing code, then we're not perfect. So that's why we need the debugging, more job, more work. Then the, the requirements change. There's a rethinking, ongoing development, and there's no time for original task anymore. And of course, this is what usually what happened. 
because we didn't want to do that. And our seniors, developer came back and helped us. That's why I started to uh, study the code generators. I'm not talking about compilators. I'm talking about tools or resources that help to create a certain and particular source code. And it's like a source code. And we have three types, project generators, snippets, and models. Uh, by the way, this classification is on my own. I invented. So if you want to talk about it in the community or on Twitter, well, maybe you can help me how to change this. Okay, let's uh, start with, uh, we have this one, create Rec React app with all these projects that, well, these generators that allowed you to start a project. So the first day we are, we're talking about young main generators and the characteristic of them are using just to start the, pro the project. But the bad thing are very difficult to personalize and there's only just one use. So I think this type of generator was not you good enough for our project. The second one is the code snippets. You can have it in all ID. And recently GitHub Copilot that can allow you to have all this with the context of the code that you have uh, around you. And the characteristic of this uh, snippets are used to create a repetitive code in a file. You can create it or install it. And, and uh, uh, Bad thing is you need to, it's not so easy to share it with your colleagues and there's no standard. So you can have a snipper with uh, tabs or spaces. There's uh, a lot of uh, things. And last is the Angular schematics is the last one of these generators. These ones uh, have this, all these files and everything with all the features, complete features. So. If you come from the HP, a, PHP, well, you have this controller. And these model generators are the ones that are more adapted to this project because uh, you can standardize them. It's very easy to share with the rest of the team. You don't have to memorize. The only downside is they are only available for specific frameworks. And if the it's like the JavaScript ecosystem without uh, Angular is, well, it's like this uh, photograph. So there, there is, here is where IGN enter. This is a creator or generator of these models and can be used in any type of project. So, and also with other languages. And you don't need to learn a language. You don't need to, to learn this syntax, syntax. So you can learn more a little bit about this, the variable name, and you close it, and that's it. So it's very simple to use at the beginning, and it's very personable. You can create the generator and it's very easy to share. You can upload it to the repo and that's it. So how does this work? There are three main concepts. The first one is the prompt. It's a uh, different questions that you post to the user so we can know and so the generation can run. For example, I want a new model in my project. What is the name for this new model? Okay, let's say Juan. Then, then we have the template. These are files that are used as the base. And so we have our variable, one. We have our template, GS, CSS, and Java. And all these templates will take this variable and create new files. And here are using the variable with this name, but it's not like that. There are other 
variables. In JavaScript, you can have uh, export one or class one. And last, uh, we have injectors that are similar files for these templates, but to inject this code. So we already have these uh, files created by the template, but then we need an app to run this template. So the injector knows where to put this variable of one inside of .js and basically to connect our modules. Okay, let's see our demo. First of all, this is a project that is pretty simple. It's Hello World. And what we need to have with hygiene is safe. I usually put it in dev hygiene. And with that, we have this dependency and we need to create a new folder that is a template. The call is template. And also to create a generator new. And because I'm going to create hello world, this is my structure. Now I will create the prompt. And I already have a snipper. This is only um, export module with a type name message. And it's a way to declare as uh, the questions that we're going to ask to the user. <clears throat> And the question, to whom you are going to say hello. And then we have our form or we create our template. And <clears throat> the syntax is uh, with these uh, three uh, dashes. Here I have the hello file or the folder that has another file with edit.js and I will place it in that uh, folder. And here I will have the name of the format, .js. And introduce console.log. And again, inside the content, again, the name. Name is in an upper case with, if I have it like this, the first character will be also in an upper case. This is very useful. And before running this, we need to go to our packet uh, JSON. We need to add this new hello. And ready. We are ready to run it. And here we have our question and the answer. I can create another one. And for example, it, the J is lowercase, but in that part is upper. Okay, so what is interesting here is I can do it as many times as I need it. Hello, Peter, for example. This is the hello word, but let's see another case, more complicated case. This is a server.js in all express and is in this web page as uh, index, uh, .js, and API. So let's see a couple of examples. I will run the server. This is the home page. It's very ugly with the users. But let me change the screens. 
And here we have this server. If I'm new in the project and I'm telling, well, you have to create a new page. So the programmer that is in this project, well, let's run just one, one instruction like this. And the name of the page is about. I'm telling no because it's a static. And as you can see, there are three files. CSS, GS, and HTML. And there is uh, the, something there, inject. If I'm going to that index.html, I can see this line. So I can reach to this new page. Otherwise, well, in, in the about page, we have this HTML, CSS, GS, and all of them are linked. Also, I have an example for the back end uh, people. I run the same, the product. And it's the same. It creates a new endpoint inside of the folder. I don't need to think in what folder I must go. For example, uh, you need to replace this with actual APA behavior. Well, I will have an error. But as a programmer, the message is wait. It's like my TMB will tell me instructions. And also, it creates a text that is linked for this function. So it's like uh, telling me you need to create a test for your APA because these are the best practices that we have as a team. Also, in the controller, there is this uh, line. This must be in singular, not, pro not plural. I will copy this information. Let me erase the arrow. Let's go to the page. And here we have the information. This is the demo. Let me let me go back to my slides. Okay. How this project ended? If you remember our problem, well, we were with a high risk and not to deliver on time. So we do it without working extra time. So we achieve it. There were no warranty that the code will follow the good practices. Uh, if you remember, well, these best practices were from the generator. Everyone uh, wrote in very similar code thanks to this template. We also use functions created with uh, secondary effects. It was not so easy. And also people run tests. So that was uh, the first. It was uh, their own decision to run all these tests. Also, well, there were some bugs due to the time, but because we rely on the generated code, we only review the rest of the rewritten code because uh, we knew which part was auto-generated. We needed to train new people. Well, as a matter of fact, uh, new developers were creating features in very little time. And you don't need to know the entire project context. And well, there are some testimonies of some people that use this tool in this uh, project. And well, say that the generator did almost all the work, I still need to add proper test cases or Using it can focus more in the business rules and not in the project configurations. 
And this, uh, with generation, many of the bugs were simple updates, updating markup and the video players were ready to be implemented. Last but not least, the links, if you want to know more a little bit about this, these are the resources you will have it in the community chat. And also you can check all my slides. And here I have all the snippers if you want to create the prompts, the templates, the injectors. And I have the hygiene link, EGS, the templating language, Enquirer, which is the prompt, the repo of hygiene that I just show you. And you want another option with JavaScript, with uh, you, we have plop.js. But uh, as, because we're using more JavaScript, uh, you can have more bugs, you need to program more things. And you have all the options here. And that's it. Thank you very much.